just in case you're wondering, she's now coded multiple episodes on scratch coding. I will find a way to insert them if I possibly can. And if you don't believe me, let me show you this. So what I'm doing is filming what the girls are doing. They're done with schoolwork. Capity. That's what she's choosing to do with her free time. Now, I'm not gonna gatekeep. If you wanna know more about this amazing and brand new to me offering to us homeschoolers, scroll down. I've got it time stamped. You can cut right to the good stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we're a homeschooling family of four who comes here and shares what we're doing. Today, I wanted to tell you that there is now more than ever. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. If you saw the little intro to this video, I am so excited to be sharing with you something that is absolutely new to me. It's called Tappity. You can either check the timestamps down below to cut straight to the chase because I'm not gonna make you wait any longer to find out about that because it's amazing. However, if you wanna stay here and hang out with me first, I will be going over more in depth in a minute. But for right now, let's get started about talking about kind of this bigger thing. Uh, you guys, if you've been here, if you've seen my recent videos, you know that this year feels different. And I think I've just been stewing on it. And I have an entire video where I'm just talking at you and trying to figure out like what it is. And I think that one of the things that is contributing to this feeling of, I mean, euphoria is extreme, but absolute joy in our homeschool this year, something that I feel like has definitely changed. I feel like there's a switch that has been flipped as a homeschooler because all of a sudden, and I don't know if it's just that we've made it enough years into the pandemonium that now when people say, like if I say, oh, I'm a homeschooler, people look at me and they're not like, ow, ow. I get actual embracing. And so like to feed off of that, what has happened is that now there is more than ever available to us as homeschoolers. We've got classes, apps, online things, all kinds of amazing, amazing things, in-person things, group things, tours, special days. I mean, it is so much and I'm so excited to be talking about it and to be able to be like partaking of it. I just, I feel like finally the world is embracing us as homeschoolers and we are not less than guys. We are here, we are showing up. We are even the target audience for some people, which I mean, isn't that great? Like it's such a wonderful and warm fuzzy feeling. We have arrived. Now, I know that some of you are gonna be like, oh, Shauna, but you live in a big city. And yes, that is very true. My friend's walking around. Yes, that is very true, absolutely. I do have a lot of big city privilege when it comes to things that are offered, which let me just run down a few. We've got some classes at the Science Museum. There's Homeschool Day at the Pleasure Pier in Galveston. There's special Lego builds at Bricks and Minifigs um, just for homeschoolers, like a play date. There are more groups getting together, so it is a little easier to find one that kind of fits your, your vibe. It is just, it is an amazing time to be a homeschooler and there just truly is now so much more than ever. But this is not just big city parks, guys. There are things everywhere, everywhere. There are more new and amazing thing. I know this because out in like West Texas, in Beaumont, that's not a very big city, okay? It's really not. Uh, it's a kind of a rural area and there's still tons of stuff available in that area, in, in, in East Texas, than you would have ever thought. Our community is growing and it is wonderful. There's also tons of online classes and online opportunities. And the one that I am gonna share with you today because it is, it is our new favorite. I am not even a little exaggerating. I am so excited to share this with you because it's amazing. Like I, I hands down, I, 
am not exaggerating when I tell you this. You have got to look into this. It is called Tappity. T-A-P-P-I-T-Y. Okay? Tappity. I will absolutely have a link for you. I also have an amazing, amazing offer from one of the owners of the company. So, if you use my code, which I will have linked in the description box, if you use my code, you can sign up for a class for $5. How much? Oh, five dollars. How much? Five dollars. Five whole dollars. Okay, five whole dollars. Now, okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Tappity is an online like um, app, like they have an iPad app and they have a desktop app, which is what my girl is playing literally as we speak. And it has uh, like videos and activities and all kinds of things you can do. Science-based is uh, like the goal and it is elementary. So like fifth and under. I mean, we don't like to stick to the rules around here, but I'm just saying it is targeted to fifth grade elementary, so fifth grade and under, but they have little videos on everything. It is so fun. It's all broken down into categories so you can track your categories. I'm going to show you in a minute so I don't even have to tell you everything. However, they're doing a new thing, y'all. They are offering live online classes. Live online classes that you can try with my code for five dollars. Now, here is the best part, okay? You don't have to commit what? I know. So many live online classes is like you sign up and you have to commit every Tuesday at 11 a.m. And I don't know if you are like me, but I don't want to do that. Why? Because this week Shauna might be available at 11 a.m. But next week Shauna probably has stuff to do at Tuesday at 11 a.m. One of the glorious things that you can do through the Tappity online class scheduling site is that you can choose a class that suits you, let's say, Let's say it's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday, that's great. But you wanna take the next class in that series and it's available next Thursday at four. You can do that. You can do it. It is amazing. You can try, you can either purchase individual classes or, or you can purchase the whole course if you purchase the entire course and they have it laid out for you. I'm gonna show you in a minute, I'm gonna show you. It is a savings over purchasing the individual classes. It is. So cool. My daughter did, she did a class on a pet bakery. She was running a pet bakery. And so it was all about math. There are printables that you can view and print out ahead of time so that they're ready for the class, but it gives you what's going to happen. The, the printables that they need for a class because she like, we're, I'll show you. And then after class activities, she did that. She also did a scratch junior coding class. It is Awesome. She has created several episodes. She's going to have three series with 10 episodes each, three seasons with 10 episodes each. Girl has a plan. So she is now coding all over the place and I am not sad. I am not sad. So some of the things that I absolutely loved about this class, and again, I'm going to show you in just one second. Uh, it was the same teacher both times and she remembered my daughter and I, and I know that they have a list and a name and all of that stuff, but she remembered her and was able to engage with her genuinely because from the first class, we had kind of established a little bit of a relationship. And I loved that personal touch. I absolutely loved it. Class size is really small. I think in her coding class, there were maybe four or five kids. Like it is wicked small. In her pet bakery class, there were two, two. I like that they've laid it out in a course. It tells you exactly how long it's gonna take. It tells you what the equivalent is. It tells you what standards it meets. They have mostly science now, but they're looking at expanding. There's some things on there that are like a little bit history, a little bit social studies, a little bit math. I am not sad about it. I am in love. I am in love with this. Uh, I think you probably genuinely could use it as like a solid kind of like big curriculum. We're gonna use it as a supplement because I mean, I love to add in fun stuff all the time. And if they're asking to do it, I mean, I guess. I am not sad about this at all. So let me pop over. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to stop rambling. But the moral of the story is that you need to know about Tappity. Okay, so M is about to try her very first Tappity class. We got signed up. They sent me the link so I can put it right in my Google Calendar. And then the information like to click on and like sign in and all of that stuff, it's via Zoom. It's right in that Google Calendar link. So I'm about to get it pulled up. It starts in about 12 minutes. 
a live class. I've got my principles ready to go and we are gonna see what happens. I'm doing this in real time so that I can give you my real first impressions. Like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Everything I've seen so far on the website, absolutely loving. So M is about to get started. So we're just gonna take you along and let you know how it goes today. So she is doing, she has two classes today. So we're doing the um, pet bakery math. I think it's like a first grade math. And then also the uh, it's for K to two and it is programming a pet robot with Scratch Jr. So I'm going to let you know how this goes. Both have printables, um, which is really cool. And I'll be sharing tons more. But for right now, we're just getting geared up for our first class of the day. It's going to be about some baked goods like donuts or cupcakes and things like that because today we are going to visit a pet bakery here at Tappity and we need to help this bakery with some math. And I can't see exactly what pointing. Is it this one? No. Oh, is it this one? No. Oh, it's this one. Oops. This one. This one's a triangle. Do you think you agree, Leanna? Greater than or less than symbols. They're kind of like a triangle or like an arrow. Have you ever seen those before? Or like a crocodile. Or like a crocodile. Ruins. Or ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, we call them the pyramids. This is also the shape of the pyramid because it's made out of different shapes. You might notice something different though. The pyramids, what shape are they made out of? They're kind of made out of the same shape over and over. Uh -huh. And that and means that, that the smaller one does the minutes, the hours. So the long one, this big one does the minutes, uh -huh. you say, right? and the little one does the hour. Mm -hmm. And I like to make a line so that I know if it's pointing to a line or an hour or a number. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea because it's a little bit hard to tell how kind of where this is pointing at. So we can do that. We could draw a line. Okay, so we did Pet Bakery Math, the first class, and had uh, Miss Soleil, and it was it was amazing. I thought she did a really good job of keeping the kids kind of engaged. She gave them an opportunity about halfway through for a wiggle break in case they needed it because I know especially mine was starting to kind of fidget and move some. So that's awesome. I like that they have pages they can work through in the class and she does it right on the screen with like a magic pencil kind of thing. And I like it. She liked it. They did go a little bit over the 45 minutes, but honestly, if I'm paying, I'd rather they went over than under. So I am not sad about that at all. Okay, so this is the Tappity website and you actually now have a couple of options. There is the Tappity Science app, which is available through your desktop as well as through your, um, I believe, Apple App Store. I don't know, I don't believe that it's on Android yet. Uh, we have been using it right through our computer, as you can see here. Um, my kid is absolutely obsessed with it. This is geared toward um, four to ten year olds. So my little one has been playing it. I don't even think my older one, beyond just kind of looking over her sister's shoulder, has really given it much thought. We've got multiple child profiles set up here, and I can track their progress. There we go. Okay, so this is the progress report she's been using, and she's got one of 73 lessons on animals, one of 17 on insects, one of 13 on plants, and she's literally just choosing what she wants to do from the home page. Here's the parent menu, and you can manage everything you need to here. Now, back on home, she's just looking at this, and she's clicking just whatever she wants to. As you can see, there's animals up top space, but you can also come up here, go by types of activities, which I think is really awesome and it will sort that way. All of the topics. So let's say this week we are learning all about the human body. I can search it just for that. So I can still kind of let her run wild with only selecting the topics I want her to see. 
Okay, so then you can select by who their favorite or, or least favorite tinkerer is. You can kind of keep them or skip them. So this by itself is absolutely amazing. Okay, absolutely amazing. Here, we, I mean, honestly, honestly, just as an app alone, super cool. However, they have added small group adventures. What? That's right. You can book a class. You go in the class with actual other children, okay, up to six other kids. And then you can even have the teacher send you like a completion certificate, like in the mail, in the real mail. And I don't know if your kids are like my kids, but real mail is such an amazing thing. So we have actually done two classes now. Uh, Marilyn learned how to like use Scratch Coding Junior, which in like one 45 minute class, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. This one right here. Uh, programming intro class. Guys, this is the coolest thing, these classes. And I need to tell you why. We also did pet bakery math, which I don't think I actually see on here, but that could just be that it's not on today's schedule. And that's, I cannot say enough good things about these classes. Okay. So let me just show you book your small group adventure. Okay. Here is what I think you need to know. I'm going to try to condense it down because I feel like I could talk on this just ad nauseum. Okay. You can search by your time zone. Here we go. You can search for today, tomorrow, and there are more times here. You can click more times. Okay. Now here is another thing. You can see everything you need to right here. You know how long the class is, you know, what time the class starts. You can click the sign up button. Here's the name of the class, when it is the cost of the class. Everything you need to know is right here. Repeatable class five to 10 times to get what you really need to know. This is K through second coding. It's a workshop. This is a short description of the class. And this is the link to let you know what you need to have ahead of time. There's all kinds of amazing and awesome classes. Okay, we're going to go right up top. Science curriculum. Comprehensive courses. First grade science, second grade science, third grade science, fourth grade science. This is not what we want. Take me back. Take me back. Okay. Class schedule. There we go. You can view all courses right here from this class. You can see the schedule. But while we are up here, let's go to view all courses because this is where I think they've really and truly set themselves apart. So let me just show you. So they currently have science, math, and then some other courses. So like coding and uh, yoga, writing, a little bit of history, and they are gonna branch out as there's demand for it. This is a course summary page. You can watch this video. You can buy the full course. Here's the course schedule. It tells you everything that you need to do, which class to start with and what to do. Here's reviews. It tells you how long it takes to complete. Here are all your printables, which I recommend you do. Here's everything that's covered, what you need to bring to class. Here is the instructors. Here you can book the classes, you can print a course progress tracker printable, and you can see the pricing. Now, you saw the class, the price per class, which you can totally do. You can totally do price per class. However, if you know that you're going to want to do all of these, you can book the class, the course, the full course discount over booking the individual classes. And that is amazing. And if you don't think that is cool enough, there are plans where you can see. Maybe it's unlimited classes. That's, I mean, that's amazing. I personally think. So here are the costs. Here's all the kind of frequently asked questions and what's happening. Okay, so you can pay monthly, you can pay quarterly, or you can pay yearly. And it is really, really cool because this is in depth enough. You saw the course for math, 16 weeks to get through like first grade math. I mean, that is serious. This is such an amazing resource. I cannot believe that we did not know about it sooner. I can't believe that this has never come up for me before. I personally am so excited. I think this is just so stinking cool. So you've got the app that you can be a membership of or these new small group adventure classes. And that I really think is where the Tappity is setting itself apart. Because look at this dinosaur science course. Let's check it out. You can book this entire course, okay? So we can do individual classes. This is completion time in four weeks. Here's your printables. Here's what you're gonna learn as well as the standards that it aligns to. What you need to bring, look at this. You can download your printables right from here. Book our class, let's view pricing. 
Okay, dinosaur science course is a one-time purchase for $50. Your kid likes it, buy the course for 50 bucks or 20 bucks a class. And like I've said probably already before in this video, what I like is let's say I am available for 45 minutes and honestly give yourself an hour. Let's say I'm available from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Thursday this week, super cool. And this is class one of three. But in order to do class two of three, I'm not available at the same time. Guess what? That's okay, because we've got a 9 a.m. on Friday, September 29th. It's not a set course like so many of them are, where it's the same time, the same day every week. Things change. And if this is something extra, this is a supplement, this is a bonus that I'm trying to add in. I love, love, love this flexibility. So be sure to check it out. I will have a link for you. Um, and guys, I really hope we loved, again, she's scratch coding. She's making full episodes of things in 45 minutes. And the fact that the teacher remembered her from the first class really just, it, it made everybody's day. Guys, I just am so excited. I, it's a new year. This vibe, I could just, if I could do this, live in this the whole year long, which reminds me when it gets, you know, about March, when I struggle, about March and the beginning of November. That's my struggle. Those are my struggle spots. But if I can take this feeling, bottle it up and save it for those times and then do it every year, I am so happy. Also, my kids are enjoying it, but like this homeschool year is just feeling so good. And I, I can't tell you enough how amazing it is to have companies and venues and even just random strangers working so hard to now cater to our community because it's growing and it's amazing. And I'm so excited about what that means for us, what it means for us here in a big city and you in a small town. We are no longer the daytime pariahs. You know what I mean? Like we are being embraced. And that is maybe one of the things in my corresponding back and forth with one of the founders of Tappity. This is one of the things that resonated maybe the most with me that really showed me that they are my kind of people. He said that they want to think of themselves as like an extra set of hands for homeschool families. They do not want to replace your role as a homeschool instructor. Whereas I do feel like, especially some bigger companies recently, have been working to assume that role from us instead of working in tandem with us. And I think that's an incredibly amazing and powerful statement. And I forgot to mention, and I didn't ask them specifically, you guys know we like our secular stuff around here and science secular resources are hard to find. I double checked. They are our people, okay? That's point blank asked. I was like, I need to know because my audience has a very specific niche and they're gonna ask and I need to know soul. And he said, yes. So there you go, secular science resources for homeschoolers. Oh, what? I know. Okay, don't forget to use my code. Any more questions at all? I don't even know what all I've inserted into this video by this point. I know it's a little rambly, but I am excited. And I want you guys to know, I genuinely get excited about the things that we use. That's why we use them. I genuinely enjoy and give you my 100% real and authentic opinion when I come here and let you know about things. That's why I share them, okay? So you can rest assured, if I don't love it, I'm gonna tell you. This, on the other hand, it's amazing. Give it a shot. They have a two week free trial on the app and you can try a class for five bucks. So give it two weeks and five bucks. Let me know what you think. And if you've already heard of it, um, hello, why didn't you let your girl know? Also, give me your opinion down in the comments. Everybody needs to know. If you haven't tried it yet, but then you try it and you wanna let us know, let us know that too. I mean, the scheduling was awesome. I mean, I'm sure, I've already told you. I'm gonna stop talking. I gotta stop talking sometimes, bye. I said I was gonna stop talking, but I forgot if I said this part. As always, if you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Go give Tavity some love.